Mario, you're a great investor yourself. What, what do you think of market valuations, where they stand right now, especially when you consider where interest rates are and when you consider what your alternative is if, if you're worried about inflation and keeping money in cash? Well, I'm not going to keep money in cash. I mean, my mandate for my clients is that I'm, a, I'm not a wealth manager yet. We're migrating the public company into that methodology, but we are a equity manager. We're like the hospital for special surgery. You know, you, you have a, a knee or a hip or some other dynamic. We take care of it. We're the best. So in terms of equities, we're saying the economy is extraordinarily robust. GDP in real terms is one thing, but my companies report in nominal terms. That is real GDP plus inflation. We're talking 10, 11, 12 percent growth rates in the economy. In addition to that, last year you had some, uh, everyone became sensitive about costs. Even though costs are rising, they did be examined costs. Then they deferred CapEx. So the balance sheets and the cash flows year to year in the first and second quarters are going to look significant. Now, in reading annual reports, in reading annual reports, uh, you get a lot more with regards to where CapEx is going and how it's going to increase. So I'm pretty optimistic about the economy. Then the first half of 2020. Two will be strong because, you know, they're prepping for the election in midterms. And the notion of infrastructure, the notion of uh, working on the climate with regards to transmission, the notion of uh, putting money into uh, uh, make sh making sure that companies stay onshore or reshore to the United States, those are all important elements. And then obviously wealth uh, wages will rise substantially. On top of that, the European markets will improve uh, after we get co uh, the shots in the uh, EU and the year-to-year -year comparisons there. China's already doing well, and they're 18% of the world's GDP. The United States is 24%. Europe is going to come back. And then you get, at some point in time, some emerging markets like India and Brazil coming back. So you got to look. Uh, and the, the, the delays and chip shortages will help the auto industry into 2022. So you're going to have a pretty robust economy going into the first half of 2022. At least uh, you can perceive that in December of this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.